Hey, tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Get your favorite tennis gear at TennisExpress.com today. The City of Light is the City of Love, as one of tennis's top power couples, Paola Badosa and Stefano Tsitsipas, have rekindled their romance just in time for Roland Garros. Sitsi Dosa is back on, and devoted fans are thrilled about that. Stefano said their three-week split gave him a lot of time to realize how intense their love is. So they got back together. He says nobody did anything wrong. They just were having a hard time going through professional tennis and a public romantic life. And he admits to not handling the pressure very well while on tour. He says trying to combine their two lives, personally and professionally, has been very tough. Steph says during their break, he realized his relationship with Paula is completely different from any he's ever had, and she is his person. The 26-year-old Paula says her relationship with Stephanos is very strong, but this time around, they have decided to keep their things a bit more private and simple moving forward. But Osa told the media in Paris that one of the things they didn't like after a while was being so public. She said she understands they are public people and fans want to know what's going on. But going forward, they're going to keep a little more to themselves. Probably very wise. Well, the couple that plays together stays together to that end. Sitsidosa is giving Roland Garros fans a big treat, accepting a wild card into the Roland Garros mixed doubles draw. In fact, Paula and Steph are the only non-French team to receive a wild card. And they're joined in that draw by another accomplished couple, two-time French Open doubles champion Katerina Siniakova and her boyfriend and fellow Czech Tomas Mahac, who just defeated, by the way, Novak Djokovic to reach the Geneva final earlier this month. French fans will not see home hero Gail Monfils and his wife Alina Svitolina in this year's mixed draw. They are both focusing on singles this time around. In other couples news from the City of Light, Australian Open champion and House of Gucci ambassador Yannick Sinner has confirmed the rumors that he is dating WTA star Anna Kaliskaya. Yannick says he is not comfortable talking about his private life, but yes, the two are dating. Remember, the same month Yannick captured his first major title in Melbourne, Anna also had a fantastic run reaching the AO quarterfinals. And just weeks later, she qualified for Dubai, where she knocked off three Grand Slam champions in succession, Yelena Ostapenko, Coco Golf, and Iga Swiatek, to reach her first WTA 1000 finals, falling to Italian Yasmin Paulina. They are an adorable couple, and we wish them the best. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.